those of us on the left, progressives and others, false narratives are dangerous. On January 6th, we had an insurrection. On January 6th, we had terrorists attack America. On January 6th, we had traitors, insurrectionists, people are trying to attempt a coup on the United States of America, attack our capital, attempt to assassinate the Vice President of the United States and many other leaders in Congress. That's what occurred on January 6th. But as you will see, the narrative and the, the continued change in narrative on one side has been fairly successful. There is something to be learned Let's go ahead and listen to this and then take it on the other side. Caught up the presses this hour. We've got some brand new numbers from our latest NBC News poll. This is focused on the aftermath of the January 6th attack. And these numbers show just how successfully Trump and his allies appear to have rewritten the narrative surrounding that awful day. 46% of adults say the attack on the Capitol has been exaggerated to discredit former President Trump and his supporters. 46%. Familiar number, isn't it? That includes 82% of self-identified Republicans and 43% of self-identified independents. Overall, 52% of Americans say that the events of January 6th were an act of terrorism. 47% say it was not. 52-47, that's another familiar number, Biden over Trump. But look at the change since we asked the question in January. The gap has gotten much smaller. And yes, as I noted, that 52-47 split almost exactly mirrors the popular vote between Biden and Trump last November. So there you go. That's what's happened on the right. Amid the battle over the January 6th narrative, the chairman of the House Select Committee on the attack, Benny Thompson, told reporters last night that his panel intends to obtain phone, text, and social media communication from several hundred uh, individuals, including members of Congress, and it does not rule out trying to get uh, associates of Mr. Trump or his family. Anyway, digest those results and realize the media ecosystems and what has happened on the right in particular. You get to see it in the vaccine hesitation and now you see it on this. I call a lot of this political malpractice. While us little media pers people have been trying to really get the message out, that was a terrorist act when we continuously put it out there. Even some of our mainstream media have been attempting to say this was a terrorist act, this was an attempted coup. You know who has not been out there doing the job appropriately, even as they push infrastructure and other things? The politicians on the other side. They are supposed to be talking about this every single day. You know that, you know that select committee that was put out there to investigate this? They should have a video, a narrative out every single day talking about every little thing that they discover, every little thing that's out there that we know, that we know. These guys attempted a coup that was treason and that we don't call it out continuously every day as they on their networks continue to talk about it wasn't an insurrection. It was just people who were trying to exert their rights. It were just pe these were just people who were frustrated. These were just people who were being, uh, their you know, fighting for their democracy. No, they were fighting to, to create fascism. They were trying to overthrow the United States government. They were trying to overthrow what the, was elected politically. They were trying to end democracy. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.